Hi, I'm John Pool Expert. Today we are going to be replacing a old Haywood Super 2 pump with the new Stay Right uh, Intel Pro Pump VS2. And uh, I'm going to show you how to remove an old pump, replace it with a new variable speed pump, and then how to set that up. So, first we're going to start by cutting out the old pump. Um, this, these old pumps don't have unions, so I have to cut it out. Always make sure you're wearing safety goggles and stuff when running power tools near your face. Okay, on these pumps, sometimes we have to remove the anchors that are holding the pump down. In this particular case, the anchors are actually hammered and they're not screwed in. So I'm going to use some pliers, possibly my sawzall, and I will uh, I will take these out. All right. So this is the IntelliPro Stay Right, which is the same as the Pinter. The drives are identical. The housing's a little different, um, but this one does come with unions, so that you can remove remove it easier in the future if you need to get to it. Uh, this drive is identical, and then also you have your remote control cord that will uh, this little voltage cord will communicate with this and cause it to run with your uh, depending on what type of panel that you have. Okay, so now we have to plumb the new pump up to where the old pipes are. Sometimes you don't have the same height. Um, and so you may want to um, adjust for that. But um, before you glue anything on to any of the original pipes, make sure you clean off um, as much of the, the, the paint, if there's paint on it, as you can. And you can use sandpaper, um, you know, a file. You can scrape it off. You can uh, use primer to get it off. So there's a couple of different things you can do, but you want to get this cleaned off before you uh, glue another pipe onto it or a on it. Okay, after all the plumbing is all finished, um, make sure that if you have to cut out anything with the sensor, that you put the sensor back. Now this particular sensor is a Hayward sensor. There, it's a 5 16 uh, drill bit that you're going to need. You drill yourself a little hole, and then this will fit back right inside of here. And then we're going to put the, put the clamp back on. Okay, next we're going to hook up the electrical to this uh, IntelliPro. First, you're going to have to remove these four screws on the outside corners. And just remove them all the way. Alright, and so when you take this off, you'll notice that you're attached by this little cord. You can pull this off. This is what communicates with the, with the motor itself. So you can take this off and you can set it over to the side. 
and the, the wiring attaches over here. You have line one, line two, and then your ground. And uh, so this goes to your uh, 20 amp, uh, 240 volt breaker. And um, it should be, if it's a new pool, in the state of California, it should be a ground fault circuit interrupter breaker. Um, some of the older ones, they don't have that, um, but that's what it, that's what it should be uh, attached to directly. So let's get this thing hooked up. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to use the same flex, flexible connector that was attached to the original motor. It's a half inch connector. You can pick these up at Home Depot. This is a flexible one, but you can get a 90 degree one or you can get a straight one, whatever works for you. And this is the original flex. Uh, this is a liquid tight, non-metallic flex. And this is what was originally on the pump. Sometimes they put metallic. Um, this is a non-metallic. They tend to last a little bit longer with the... And then you just have to get these wires around this corner here. And once you get them through there, you grab onto them and pull them. Snug that down and push it back here behind the pump. You're going to want to strip these. Now it's red and black typically, but you may have other colors on yours. Um, in fact, one of these is even stranded and one is solid. That doesn't really make a difference. Um, you can use, you can hook them either way. Line one and line two can be either red or black. It doesn't matter. They both go to the same breaker. So uh, it doesn't really matter. And if they can be, sometimes they're both black. Sometimes, you know, you get both of them are red. Sometimes you'll have blue and some other colors. But as long as you have it hooked up to a 200 and 40 volt breaker, you sh it should work. We want to snug it down nice and tight. And then the same thing for the red. So we're done wiring this. We can plug this back in. This is top on it, so you know which way it plugs in. Now this can be turned in any way that's convenient for you. Um, since the best access on this is going to be uh, from this side, um, I'm going to put this on like this. But if the best access for you is in the back or in the front, you can uh, set this in any direction that's convenient. You just set it down on there. Tighten your screws up. And 
There you have the wiring.